Now, it's always a beehive of activities downtown Kampala as people go about their daily hustles to make ends meet. But amidst this confusion and congestion lies a challenge of petty thieves. My video journalist, Edith Sekarandai, set up the camera at around 11 a.m. Within two minutes, we were able to capture different theft attempts. Dressed responsibly, these suspects work in a circle of about five people, each with a specific role. It's a normal day for this unsuspected young man. What goes around that moving around in Kampala, one needs to be on high alert over petty criminals, but no one knows when they will strike your end. We are some of the people who are in the world. Because they work in a group, one person does the stealing and the other does the cover up. We are some of the people who are in the world. In a blink of an eye, he has lost his phone. Then the confusion sets in. This incident is just one of those that happen downtown Kampala on a daily basis. There are many thieves who come here, they steal things. Even in the morning when we've not yet come, we find when they've opened our shops, so the situation is not good. You know the scandals when getting into the taxi eh? around park areas. That's kind of when people are trying to enter. Then I, when I got inside the car, I found my bag was open, trying to cross-check out my phone, then it was missing. Kibombo Fred, a manager at Mutasa Cafero Plaza, reveals that around 10 cases are witnessed daily around their street. The issues are along the street. It is too much. Uh, they normally pick pocket. You know, just if someone is carrying a bag, bag, uh, you find someone opening the zip and then pick pocket. Some victims claim that the police has not helped much as those arrested are set free under unclear circumstances. We go to police and report the cases. But instead of helping us, they, they, of course the police wants money. You have to first give their money. You tell them your issues, but they tell you, they, they tell you, okay, first give us some time, you'll come back. Getting back to them, there is nothing. Police releasing people is a constitutional right that somebody gets uh, released on police bond after you are arrested. The most dangerous spots include Katwe Roundabout, Queensway Clock Tower, William Street, Namirembe Road and Lugogo Bypass traffic lights. According to the 2018 police crime report, 7,354 cases of robbery, both aggravated and simple, were registered compared to 6,850 cases in 2017. Cases of simple robbery or petty theft that did not involve firearms were 2,181 compared to 1,910 cases in 2017. The police has thus called upon the public, especially in the city centre and surrounding areas, to be vigilant. Now, due to the bureaucracies involved, some members of the public have shunned away from reporting such criminalities, meaning that even with the police report, there are a number of them that go unreported. Dennis Woniala. NBS live at nine. And there you have it. That's how the situation is or looks like here in Kampala. And for those of you who don't know Kampala, Kampala is the capital city of Uganda, found in the central part of this country. And for those of you who don't know where Uganda is located, well, Uganda is located in the eastern part of Africa, to be specific, the Great Lakes region or the East African region, neighboring countries like uh, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, uh, DRC, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and of course South Sudan in the north. At least you now have a picture of where this is taking place. Now, to be really unfair of me, just giving you a snapshot of what happens in Kampala during daytime without actually giving you caution or warning among the places where this happens, of course. Uh, I'm going to tell you the places you should avoid 
or the places you should be very 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 more careful once you're getting through and what you really need to do to you know beat around to be able to avoid such people who snatch people's property in broad daylight and like i told you in the in the video that the police has done yes it's job but not as expected i want also to take this opportunity to say thank you to nbs tv because they are the ones that sponsored me i was working with nbs tv sometime uh when i did that video and so all the credit all the credit uh is for nbs tv uh goes to nbs tv they are the ones that facilitated that so just so to clear the air uh, if you're new on my channel before I share the tips on how to survive in this Kampala, uh, more so in this season of election, please uh, do follow me on Instagram at Dennis Duke UG. Don't forget to go and follow my beautiful Ugandan sister. Her channel is Ugandan Sister. She has quite amazing content on her channel. Go to the first comment in the comment section. I have pinned a link to her YouTube channel and of course subscribe to her YouTube channel. Now, there are places in Kampala where you go to and from my perspective, you won't be sure whether you come back with your phone, your wallet or your bag. And these places are the ones that I'm going to mention. Place number one is of course Queensway uh, Clock Tower on Entebbe Road. As you're going to Entebbe Road, that clock tower around about, oh my God, Omobi uh, Ariao. The number of things that are at that spot, I think they're more than a hundred. and they do loot on an unsuspected people i mean if you happen to be using a taxi maybe your window is open and you're pressing your phone in about a second you won't have it so and what kills me is that that place has some sort of uh, police post unfortunately when we talked to some of the residents or some of the people that operate around there they said you see what happens is once they capture somebody or somebody is arrested in about a few minutes they are released and i'm like okay what happened so there's some bit of cohesion bit, uh cohesion no that's not the right word there's some bit of uh in Kola, Ghana, relationship between the thugs and the police which i cannot put on camera but the police needs to look into that i mean why would you arrest somebody and in a few minutes they are out tormenting another suspect so that is one of the places that you should be very very careful if you have a personal car once you reach there please lift the window uh, or the, 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 you know the glasses and cover yourself in there at least put an put ac so that you can have fresh air <laughs> another place that you should be more more careful uh when uh, driving or riding in kampala is the lugogo bypass now the lugogo bypass has not once or twice but for a very long time been a hub or a place of thugs i mean there are lights there are lights uh and where would google bypass of course google bypass is big but i mean lugogo game there lugogo game uh chadondo rugby grounds the lights there the traffic lights there so people usually the thugs usually you know stand there as if they are crossing the road as if they're waiting for a for a bus or a taxi yet they're waiting for unsuspected people to rob and a lot of people have lost their property just at that spot so just like i told you what happens on entebbe road around queensway or clock tower queen's clock tower on entebbe road please do the same follow the precautions raise your windows high be on high alert because you do not know at what time are they going to strike another place of course that i can't forget is um Mini price, yes, around mini price. Ha, over at mini price in Bagambechi. Mini price, my name Jimani, so I won't really, really dwell so much. Mubi Ariao, Naiva and Bitasaga. Another place is Ewachisekao, who Mukwanom Ewachisekao. Mutege Dewa Manakampala. I don't know how to direct somebody, but every time you hear Wachiseka, be very, very careful with your car. By the way, Abamu, Ovocha in a jam. Uh, so such things are still happening and i hope that well this video has changed your life please take precaution yes take precaution take precaution take precaution my name is dennis duke until then i think it's a goodbye please enjoy yourselves don't forget to follow me on instagram at dennis duke ug but also on my different social media platforms facebook twitter and, uh, and facebook yes at dennis duke ug until then, 
Tchau.